he will not open the door. Oh god, that is cold! It won't turn on. Ah, so graceful. Well, hello my fellow humans. I am currently staying in a treehouse. This right here is the incredible treehouse I'm currently staying at. If you go up the stairs to the entrance, you will see this outdoor port. Oh, this comes out. We have like all the old school books. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This treehouse is basically my childhood fantasy come to life. Everything down to the books on the shelves, to the wriggly staircase. It comes with a fully fitted kitchen with a cooker, fridge, toaster, microwave, you name it, it's got it. Everything works perfectly and it's so well built. Cupboards are fully stocked. It's not just for novelty, it feels like a real home that just happens to be in a tree. And here we have, I'm guessing this is to do the light. <gasps> wow, that's so cool. Okay, so here we have the shower and bathroom. And there's this little nook area. Come over here, you can see everything downstairs. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very, very happy and excited right now. I am very much living my childhood dream. This is really cool. If I could live in a tree house, I would. <laughs> my favorite childhood movie is Peter Pan. Everything about that movie is like a comfort to me. And as a kid, I have always wanted to know what it feels like to live in a tree house. Because Peter Pan made it look like the coolest thing ever. Bringing that cartoon aspect into reality is wild. And it's exactly how I imagined it would be. Like this aesthetic is so cool. My inner child is thriving right now. Now it's time to go on a 10 minute drive to the nearest supermarket because I need to get food and snacks for this trip. The one I found is called Budgeons. I've never heard of that supermarket before, but it looks really cute. I do love me a good supermarket. Like dilemma. I have come home with the goods, but I can't get into the treehouse. I can't work the key. I'm trying, but the key will not open the door. I suck at keys. I cannot use keys to save my life. And um, I can't. I don't know how I did last time, but I can't seem to do it now. But it won't do it. Is there like a trick to it that I'm not aware of? I hate keys. I really struggle with getting into places with keys. I don't know why. It's like my long life curse. I struggle with keys. I actually haven't locked the door because I'm scared that if I lock it, I won't be able to like open it again. So it's currently open. We just gotta, we just hope, gotta hope no one no comes and murders me in the night time. I'm just holding out for that. I am not planning on opening and locking the door for the rest of the trip because that was just way too stressful. How do I get this thing to work? I don't know how to get the cooker to it. This is stressful. I am tired, hungry, ow, and stressed. Not a good combo. I don't know how to get the cooker to work. It won't turn on. What's a girl to do? The cooker won't turn on. Right. So, if I was in, oh, maybe it's a spot. Oh, okay, I figured it out. It was the switch. Honestly, you can never go wrong with pasta. I don't trust people who don't like pasta. I still cannot get over the fact that I'm in a tree and I've just cooked myself a meal. Wild. Thank you to Bear Help for sponsoring this video. Some of you may or may not have noticed that I took a break from YouTube. I was just putting my mental health first, which isn't something that I made a priority in the past. That led to burnout and struggling with my mental health. Now moving forward, I'm trying to make a more conscious effort of making my mental health a priority because it's so important that we do that. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional therapy done securely online. This 
there's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so it's free and easy to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash and join the over a million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And there's a special offer for ClickPataz viewers. You can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Link to everything as always will be in the description box. Check it out. These strawberries, I don't know what's in them. They're definitely not natural. They've definitely injected some chemicals in this to make it like the best strawberries you will ever have. These are so good. Like ridiculously good. They don't taste natural at all. They taste like candy. I've been having some Viennese wheels. You really shouldn't be eating in bed. I'm not setting a good example here, but listen, I'm on all a day. I can do what I want. Should we look at the selection of books on the shelf. This one looks... The Miracle of Speedy Motors. <coughs> not really keen on that one. S. Saviour's Birthday Book. That's not even a real book. <coughs> Julius Caesar. I actually don't really know much about that sort of stuff. I have come up with an itinerary... Uh, an itinerary... Itinerary? Oh my god, how do you say that word? Itinerary? Not only can I not read, I also can't speak. Why does that not sound like a real word -wi anymore? I've come up with a plan. I've come up with a plan for tomorrow. I've packed a lot of activities. So tomorrow, we're going to have a fun day being alone in a treehouse. And we're going to do a bunch of activities and just be one with ourselves and nature. It's been raining all morning. I'm going to chill out here for a bit. And then I have to figure out how to use a shower. This is a really nice spot. Oh my god, that's hot. It is time to freshen up and get ready for the day. So I'm gonna wash my face and I'm gonna hopefully shower successfully. And we'll see if it's like hot water in it. I really hope so. But cold showers are meant to be really good for you too. So even if it is a cold shower, um, it's fair health-wise, I've heard. So either way. I'll be clean. I have massively cut down on my skincare products. Basically, I've gone back to just not having any skincare products. And since doing that, my skin, you know, it's been doing well. For those of you who don't know, me and skincare, I never used skincare grown up. I didn't even moisturize my face, which sounds wild now. And I always had like pretty clear skin grown up. I'd get like the odd pimple here and there. But for the most part, I had good skin. I, I was very lucky that way. And then during the lockdown, I experimented with skincare and I wasn't using it properly and I put too much on too quick and I completely ruined my skin barrier and it went crazy. And my skin has kind of been hating me ever since. But then I decided to completely stop using all products and I feel like I'm slowly going back to what my skin was like before adding all the products onto my face. So I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> Please don't jinx it. Watch me start breaking out again. But for the most part, right now, like, you know, it's not too bad. My face doesn't hate me right now. And I'm very, very grateful for that. The only products I use are these two. This is a cleanser, this is a moisturizer. They're super, super gentle. And I just use sun cream, sunscreen. That's it, that's it. That is my full, routine and so far I'm pretty happy with it okay I'm assuming oh I'm assuming you just go like this and it should <gasps> okay oh that's not very hot <laughs> that's not hot at all okay we have hot water well we have lukewarm water that's enough that'll keep me going okay let's do this oh god that is cold that's so cold why did you get warmer Oh, oh, okay, okay, I think I'm in the safe zone now. It's getting warmer. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's not so bad. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, so successfully had a shower in a tree 
wild times, but I nearly just slipped and dislocated in my hip. I was nearly a goner. I literally just walked in and, okay, floor, very wet, very slippery, very insane. I literally just went flying like this and I could have like dislocated my hip or something. Oh, that was quite a dramatic end to the shower moment. Okay, let's not slip and die on this trip. I don't think this is doing anything, but if it prevents the slippiness just a tad, then it is worth it. I have a little visitor. Whoa, there's a squirrel right outside. Oh my God. I am about to attempt to do some tie dye. I've got three pairs of sports socks and I'm gonna try and do them each different colors. Let's just... First thing you do is submerge it all in water, like so. Then you wring it out, scrunch it up into a ball. Just gonna put a bunch of rubber bands on it. That's one pair right there. I have been wanting to tie dye for such a long time, so I'm very excited about this. I feel like they're gonna turn out pretty sick. So here we have all my tie-dye paint. Let me just make sure I cover every white part that's possibly in. It'll be interesting to see how these turn out. I hope they turn out good. The blue is a strong dye. This is the green and blue pair. This might be my favorite one. And then we got the red and yellow, which also looks really cool actually. And then we've got a classic a uh, multicolored one, which is kind of a shambles. I'm so excited to see how these turn out. Who wants pancakes? Because I'm making chocolate chip ones. We're really treating ourselves today. Mmm, that was really good. I get a lot of videos where people talk about being really good at being alone. If you don't get good at being alone, then you become dependent on other people and that can lead to like negative experiences. Being alone will always be better than bad company. One thing I forget is that everything in life just requires practice. Like when I was younger, I wasn't very confident in myself. I was very insecure. For the most part, most people were good, but there were definitely people that were not good for me that I just put up with bad behavior because I thought in my head, being around people, doesn't matter what kind of quality of people they are, being around people will always be better than me being by myself. Now, nine times out of 10, I will willingly choose to be by myself because I've gotten to a point where I quite like my company I quite like hanging out with myself and spending quality time by myself. Now I see that when I hang out with people, it's like an added bonus. Like I don't need to be around people to have a good time. But if I am around other people, they would have to be good people that bring out the best in me and meet my needs. Because why would I settle on anything less than that? And I've only been able to pick up on that and realize like all the green flags and the red flags since practicing being by myself and doing things by myself. Once you get better being by yourself, you stop caring about society's perceptions and things that don't matter, who you're hanging out with and the things you're doing and trying to be perceived as like perfect and cool. Literally none of that stuff matters at the end of the day. As long as you have good mental health and you're comfortable in your own skin, you are winning at life. Ow, that was right up in my crotch. Okay, get down. I don't have to get down. I don't have to get down. Ow. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah! Hey, oh, ah, so graceful. Tea time with Taz. We have quite an odd selection today. I've got myself some spaghetti hoops, which is absolutely lovely, very comforting, would give it a 10 out of 10. This, on the other hand, is incredibly underwhelming. It's fish burgers, and um, I didn't like it. Kind of regret that, but, you know, we've got the hoops to make up for it. Ooh. You know, I've been doing quite well so far 
with not getting freaked out by noises and things. Um, but I swear I can hear footsteps and the door is unlocked because I was worried that if I lock it, I will not be able to get myself out. And on that spooky note, I'm gonna end the video here before I get murdered. This place has been an absolute dream and it is going to be very much missed. That has been me, yeah, yeah. Living in the Treehouse. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you okay. so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know the matter, Anna, as always. Mm. I shall okay. see you guys next time. Thanks for so time much. for me to go. Like, I died deep. Like, I'm last week night with the flow here. It's Johnny Boy, my peak.